Smith, and then Michaela. That's our rotation for that. Um, so, who else that was? Savannah. Savannah. Yeah. So Savannah, wait. Crap. No, this would be Maddie Pate. Okay. When we, when Hannah is back row, we do a different rotation for when McKenna's front row. Gotcha. But for this, here's the template line. They're blocking. Carly would pull to right here on the outside. Courtney Smith, here's the block. Well, I play, I go here. Courtney goes there, and Maddie stays there. So I would pull to the line and then start creeping up outside, like the middle. I would pull. I would like get off of her hand because they're supposed to be taken. The block takes all of this away, or gotcha. it's supposed to. Gotcha. So I would be on the outside of her hand, and then I'd start creeping up. Courtney. Well, I also wait for her. So, Courtney, this is her base, but her home is right there. And my home is right here, but my base is right there. Gotcha. Um, Maddie would pull, here's the template line, she pulls halfway. So she can get the tips, or she can just use her hands if it's a hard driven ball. Gotcha. Um, Courtney, if there's a hole in the block, we both scoot in. So we would be like right here, if there's a hole in the block. But normally the hole in the block would be like back here, because our blockers are really good. So then she'd like scoot to where the hole is and then start creeping up because if there's no block, they're going to hit further down, you know. And so, but if there's not a hole in the block, then she stays deep, like in case they touch it, or either she tries to read the hitter and gets these deep line shots. Gotcha, because that's where they do know you, especially if you don't have a yeah. tall setter. Yeah, because usually they can hit over Michaela. But oh. I mean, Michaela has, is a good blocker, but these deep, like, yeah. Put tips or deep like rolls or whatever. Courtney's responsible for that. And if they hit like deep, Courtney's responsible for this too. Wow. Now, so, how about cover there? Now, who has assignment to cover on the block? Carly. Like, what are you talking about? You're covering the block. So, oh, when like okay, so this is transition. Um, Michaela setting. Michaela hit sets outside. I need a different color because this is. So we're covering. So I would get right up underneath here. For the hit? Yeah. Holly would get the net along the net. Michaela would like pull to right here. Courtney would stay deep right here. And, Mc and Maddie Pate Just would come there. right here. So it's like a little diamond. So it's like okay. you're like filling in the holes. I'm with you. And, then, and so the balls that comes off the block so hard, it's, it's just... Oh lucky, gosh. or yeah. you have to like chase it down, and that's pretty much why the middle back stays deep, is so they can run those balls down. Gotcha. But that barely ever happens. It's more. But middle back is middle back, not necessarily. Uh, it could be whoever's in that base. But that's what you're yeah. saying, base, middle back base. Base. Home is when home is like your where you start out, right. and then once like the balls hit, you run to your base. So like they they don't they wouldn't want me. Right back, because that's where the setter's supposed to be. Like normally the libero is middle back or left back, so they would make you, they like you talk about whoever wants to play what, and then so once the ball is hit, you can go. So if I'm over here and they want me to play left back, then as soon as the ball's hit, I'm on gotcha. over here. And then release, it's when the ball's hit. Gotcha. So the ball does get, so you got it, you hit it. There's no tip. Now you're back to your base again. Base ready for, not home. Yeah. Home not home. is between every single serve, like so, between gotcha. the rallies. And then base is during, like when the ball's on the other side, and then release is when the ball's on your side. Now when you get into a, last question, because this is making so much sense to me now. Um, I see you girls in the back row doing a lot of changes from left to back and right, right and back, yeah. and y'all changing, why is that? In, in a long rally maybe, or? Well, what we do is we, we do like this pit drill, and then in the pit drill, it's all about balancing. So if somebody goes and chases down the ball, like if middle back, okay, say I'm in left back and I shank it, and it goes off the court, and middle back goes and runs to get it, 
because normally they want the back row to get it so like we can set the front row. But so if like Courtney goes and chases it, she's already over here. So I could just switch to middle back so she wouldn't have to run. So like we'd already be gotcha. in a So it's just spot. communication. Yeah, in a spot. So like, because by the time we get the ball over, they're probably going to already hit it because it's a free ball. So then we would just like talk about it. Or either like if it's in between like a rally or something. Well, not in a rally, but like if, we're, if we are stuck and they keep hitting left back and I can't dig it, then we could just switch so Courtney can get it, you know, if I'm having like a bad day or whatever. Or if I'm middle back and um, can't go get those deep balls, but Courtney can't because she's faster, then we'd switch. So it's kind of like if Courtney's back or she plays middle back because she's really quick. And then I'm just like good at reading, I guess, so then I would stay left back. So you can make those changes after home. After the serve's done, then yeah. you, you basically are making those Yeah, or you can, change, you can like make that like before the serve. But gotcha. you still have to go to home, and then once the serve, you can switch up. Gotcha. Thank you, dear.